चिकन तो क्रंच है किसमें लग सकता है यार ये क्या गजब ये तो एपिक खाया तुमने सो लेट मी टेस्ट दिस थिंग दिस इज शफाली सो लेट्स सी and welcome to Tibetan Chain. So these are the basically the Tibetan ingredients that they use in uh, Tibetan cuisine. So we are having basically these are the cheeses that they use in uh, their cuisine for making uh, various desserts and main courses also. So uh, this is chura. Uh, they uh, often use the term chura. So chura means cheese in their language. And this is chura rango. This is churango. This churpi. So these are the variety of cheeses along with some spices that we've displayed. So here this is a berry uh, that comes from the Tibetan region. That's a dried berry. And this one is the uh, like Sichuan pepper corn. The okay. flavor is like Sichuan pepper corn, but uh, the, uh, the name is different. It's yama beans in okay. the language. This is the torma. So uh, this is basically a uh, Tibetan dried ginseng. It's known as torma. Okay. And this is like an incense. Uh, this leaves works as an incense sticks that we uh, basically burn in our houses. Okay. Uh, they are, uh, like religion purposes, they are also uh, burn this, and this gives a specific smell or aroma. To the okay. Uh, these are the dried noodles, known as bakuk. Okay. So you basically blanch it, and then you pour it in an our uh, soup, and then have the bakuk noodle or bakuk soup. Okay. That's the local uh, soup of Tibet. Along with this is uh, like a, a fried dough. So this is made out of Thai ginger, dried ginger. This is mint. This is regular black salt. This one is uh, celery. And these four are the condiments that goes along with the food. So uh, this is a burnt onion garlic dip. This one is chili dip. This is a spiciest one. This one is uh, cucumber seed and caramelized onion dip. Hmm. And this one is a, a, a dried spice mix. Okay. That we sprinkled on your food. Food. So today uh, we'll be serving you a seven course uh, Tibetan dessert, Tibetan menu, along with some desserts, and wow. uh, main courses will be conveniently served. Hmm. So uh, I hope you enjoy the meal. And you can of enjoy course. The meal. Thank you. Okay. So it's made up of basically we use a lavati flour. How is it different? So what? Uh, how we make it? Basically, we wash it. We knead the dough, then we wash it. So uh, from the water that we get, we make the wrap. And the gluten that is left after washing, we steam it out, and then we put it inside. The stuffing is gluten, and the washable part is the wrap only. Okay, wow. So, uh, Ladakh, as you all know, is basically uh, situated in the hillside. So the food is tend to be spicy. Yes. Though we are not making it very spicy, so we are serving the spicy chutney by the side, obviously. Did Did you like this dish? It's superb. Uh huh. What yes. is the best part about this dish? Me. <laughs> Rhythm, did you like this? Amazing! It's amazing, and the best part is the crunch in the chicken in it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, chicken is crunch. Yeah, it's my love. What? Let's see. So, abhi main khati hoon because maine sab ka to puch liya. Now let me also see how it is. Uh, this is a Tibetan food. Basically, uh, again, it's a hand chopped meat, chicken basically. Okay. We are serving, uh, but in Tibet they will get mostly mutton. Okay. Yes. Because in uh, Tibet basically it's locally most... lamb and yes. mutton you will get yes. very yes. frequently. Yes. 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 Chicken yeah. is really unavailable there. Yes. But here you will get uh, we are serving a chicken, okay. so hand chopped chicken along with some uh, herbs are there, onion, garlic. And basically vegetables like carrot and uh, celery is there. Okay. So basically uh, you will get the flavor of. Garlic and the chicken mostly. Okay. We're emphasizing on uh, the pure flavor of the meatiness. I understand. Certainly, sir. And uh, so, we I recommend you to try this with this caramelized one, chutney, sir. Okay. So let me taste this thing. This is shafali. So let's see. Along with leek, celery, onion, and spring onion, and a little bit of coriander. So the flavor that we'll be getting is basically the uh, flavor of total meatiness. Okay. 
uh, and along with some flavor of coriander and some celery. That's all. This is like very refreshing taste. No other spices, nothing. We recommend you to have this with this uh, pumpkin seed dip. So. Okay. Thank you. So Again, uh, very local food to uh, Tibetan cuisine. They are having uh, soup, basically, soup, basically, are soups. Yes. So they are having hot soup, they are having mock soup, they are having ten soup. So, ten soup are basically uh, the handful noodles. So, as you can see, the noodles are not shaped properly. Okay, so, uh, this is the course breaker or palate cleanser course of your experience menu. So, this is an orange and lemongrass sorbet. Uh, the knot or the tie that is all been tied, it basically made up of this uh, lemongrass leaves okay. from our own garden oh. downstairs. If you put inside some meat stuff to filling or vegetable filling, it becomes moon. Oh. So it's basically fermented dough. Atta. Traditionally, they make uh, make shakta out of lamb. So how do they basically make it? Basically, roast the lamb and they slice it off thinly. Then they stir fry it. So again, uh, we are following the tradition. We are making actually chicken shakta out of the roasted chicken. Uh, that is uh, marinated with five size blades. So when you are having the shakta, the main flavor that you will be getting is five spice. That is cinnamon, allspice, a blend of spices, and the alu sip sip. Uh, I forgot to tell you that it basically uh, not the properly cooked potato preparation. It basically uh, raw potatoes tossed in uh, oak, so parboiled and blanched. So you will uh, feel the uh, like a texture, potato texture, that uh, giving a bite. So it's basically the khasiyat of the dish on itself. cheese gravy along with some vegetables so vegetable gets steamed in cheese gravy this cheese is to make this cheese gravy okay. oh. so that's all enjoy your meal man last but not the least folks the dessert so we are having basically a uh, chocolate ganache cream cheese dessert along with the uh, gulas ice cream and cheese tussel so the cheese tussel is basically the dri cheese tussel dri is basically the female version of yak and uh, the uh, gunas is basically a local flower, rhododendron, that grows up over here with having a note of uh, tanginess that is totally different. So, to cut down the richness of the dessert, the uh, ice cream is here. So, in having the dessert, it's basically like a rich and really sweet dessert. So, to cut down the sweetness, the uh, tanginess of the ice cream is here. So, please enjoy.